Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, after a little bit of a stormy, gloomy start to the day, lots of sunshine as promised this afternoon, breezy conditions and cooling off back to fall temperatures over the next couple of days. Some great weather ahead, but we'll see rain before the week is done. So let's take a look at the big picture first off across uh, much of the U.S. And we have that upper level low that was the main protagonist for the strong to severe storms last night from Texas into portions of Louisiana, even Alabama this afternoon. Things are beginning to Quiet down. I know, oh, by the way, this low, it's an upper level feature. This one's going to be dragged to the north and may get some tropical, uh, uh, acquire some tropical characteristics, but it's not going to be a major deal. Meanwhile, high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north funneling in drier air back into the region. You can see where those rains are now from the Midwest all the way down to the Florida panhandle. And let's back it up and we'll show you those showers and storms moving through the area pre dawn hours earlier today around 3 to 5 a.m. And then things quieted down quickly, but we did have some severe weather in the area. So uh, let's take a look at the Doppler radar. We're going back to early this morning and watch the timeline here. This is going uh, from about uh, four till about about 8 o'clock in the morning or about 3 o'clock to 8 in the morning and some strong storms here across the northern portions of Acadiana did have some wind dynamics with it and there was a tornado confirmed by the National Weather Service uh, right around northwest uh, three miles northwest of the uh, uh, we'll say the Oberlin area 111 mile per hour wind some trees were down and some homes were damaged so uh, it was a little rough here fortunately no injuries wind damage in around the Bazile area as well and and some power outages, especially the northern portions of Acadiana and on a sporadic basis. But uh, these storms and as we said last night, although we had that low and marginal risk of severe weather, sometimes uh, these storms will produce a severe storm or an isolated tornado. And we saw that uh, very early this morning. Here's that cell that went through Oberlin and right here is the tornado. It was a brief one. It lasted for only about four tenths of a mile, but 111 mile per hour winds. That's a category three hurricane for a very brief period of time. And then as you look farther to the south, as the storms went through the Bazile area, we had a mesocyclone here. There could have been a tornado here too that did some wind damage as well. Uh, we'll see if the National Weather Service investigates that. They came out with their uh, damage report in the Oberlin area just about a half hour or so ago. Near term though, we're looking at much quieter conditions, cooling off nicely as high pressure moves in tomorrow. Mostly sunny and mild day. Temperatures get into the mid 70s. Another cool one going into tomorrow night and as we head into Thursday, another mostly sunny day. But as we get closer to Friday, low pressure moving across Texas will bring showers and thunderstorms our way as we head into Friday afternoon and maybe the threat of a few thunderstorms too early to tell if there's going to be any kind of uh, severe weather threat. So we'll just kind of watch that for right now. We're just going for showers, not thunderstorms as we head into Friday. Maybe a better range too. temperatures low to mid 40s tonight. Northern portions of a Acadiana mid 40s I 10 quarter and the same across the coastal parishes and then a nice warm up tomorrow afternoon back to the mid 70s. That's where we were this afternoon. So overnight tonight temperatures dropping down to 47 in Lafayette. Crystal clear skies, uh, breezy winds initially, but those winds die down as we go deeper into the evening hours and then for tomorrow we'll see temperatures getting back into the mid 70s. Wall to wall sunshine. It's going to be just a beautiful day out there. Lots of blue skies in the forest. Forecast. Moving into uh, the rest of the week, Friday, we do have that rain chance at 70%, hopefully a little bit more rain. And just like the models did yesterday, Acadiana not seeing much elsewhere around us, an inch or two of rain. Uh, we'll pray that we get a little bit better than that. Uh, sunshine Saturday afternoon, but maybe some showers in the morning. The day won't be a washout, lingering cloud Sunday. Cool weekend ahead. Temperatures lower 70s for highs and overnight lows getting back into the 50s after a couple of chilly.